All right, we have a Mega Touch Force 2003 by Merit Industries Incorporated. This one is currently not fully working. It is partially working because you can see that the monitor is up and you can hear it making a beeping noise. So you know that the speaker works and probably the power supply. You can see the computer in here behind this door and we don't know anything about touchscreen computers, so we're kind of helpless. It might be something really simple. Well, it was working when it was put into storage about seven or eight years ago. Oh, okay. And it hasn't been plugged in since then, right? No. Okay. So whatever could go wrong from something just sitting for seven years, that's what's wrong with it. And by the way, this is not a Force 2003. It was actually upgraded when I had it repaired before I put it into storage. Uh, it was upgraded to a Force 2006. Wow. Which uh, I think was the, the latest game you could update this particular system to. Okay. All right. Well, it has a... We do have the key to that lock, and... I think it's got a coin mech, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. We'll find out in a second. It has a coin mech and it has a bill acceptor, which Jeff is going to put a bill in to demonstrate. It's a uh, Mars stacker, too. There you go. Took the bill. That means the bill acceptor is working. Puts it in the stack. But Jeff's taking it out, so that bill will not be in it. <laughs> Uh, obviously the monitor's working. Got a little remote board there for the monitor. Cabinet's nice and clean inside and out. In fact, it doesn't look like this got flooded or got any water damage, no, did it? it? Was, uh, there's no water damage. It's just... Uh, it also know. doesn't look like any structural damage. Um, the yeah. cabinet actually looks pretty solid. And I don't see any major gouges or scratches or corners busted or anything. Well, it's got a little bit of tape residue right here. Oh, but that comes sure off. What. That should come off. I like how it looks like they've got a keyboard here, but it's just a blank piece of plastic. It's like an invisible keyboard. Well, I think these really were meant to play with a stool. So you can rest your arm right here. when you're. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Or, actually, because it has this area, I could see someone using this as a MAME cabinet. <laughs> and, oh! Oh, I don't, almost did something else. It blinked on and off, but it recentered the display. Maybe it was... Because oh, you notice it was, like, shifted off, so maybe it's... It may change every couple minutes, so it doesn't... Okay. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you could make a MAME out of this. Mount a trackball here, joystick here, some buttons maybe. And then, heck, it's already got a computer in it. I don't know. Just streaming. That is probably a VGA monitor, I'm guessing. Yeah, true. I think it's a Tatung. Tatung? Yeah. Oh, i never heard of Tatung. 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 Let's zoom in on that. Wow. Made in the USA. So the just kidding. Micro micro touch controller should be working if you want to try to get this going again. Oh yeah. And it comes with a good power cord. That's a nice long power cord too. Yeah. And the back door is over there. He took it off, but it does have a back door. Yes. Okay. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys.